Jack Perial Saddle, Laddie Boy in the Grade 3 Transylvania. Tell me about his, his only race this year up at Turfway. Um, he'd had a long layoff. He hadn't run since the uh, Jockey Club race where he ran second to Taffetshire. And I don't think he cared for the surface. And he maybe got a little tired too. Uh, we'd had some uh, cold weather here and it set us back just a little bit. But the good news is he came out good. He's doing great now and uh, looking forward to trying him on the turf. I know he, you tried him in the Breeder Security last fall. Came out of that with a nice win here and then a good strong second in the stake up at Churchill. So obviously you had some, some high hopes for this horse. Oh yeah, I mean he's already kind of proven that he's a real good colt. And I'm anxious now to get going with him because he's a little bigger and stronger and a year older and, uh, and just doing really well right now. Tell me about the experiment with the turf here. Um, he's got some breeding for it and it's something that I wanted to try with him and I saw it as an opportunity um, to jump on there and see going into the beginning of his three-year-old year which way we go with some of these races you know with a good three-year-old that can route you shop around and and see uh, and if he'd happened to like the turf and he's you know he's one on the dirt he's one on the synthetic if he could win on the turf too that's pretty versatile nice kind of horse to have. Have you worked him or galloped him over it? Haven't had an opportunity. They thought they would get us out there this week and the way the weather was earlier they just couldn't let us. The Keeneland was going to let us but just didn't get a chance to. But pedigree you think there's a shot? Yeah I think the pedigree um, being out of a little slad mare you know he's by Warpass he has some credentials to to try the turf and where he's been like I say one on the dirt one on the synthetic I think he'll run over anything. He, I know, went wire to wire here in the race that he won at Keeneland last fall, but does he have to be on the lead? I don't think so. Uh, he kind of wants to be, and we've been working on that to try to get him to come back and relax a little bit, and it'd be nice if he would take more of a stalkers type role, you know. Um, but we'll just have to see how the race comes up and what Jesus wants to do with him. And, and uh, and have a go at it. Do you have an idea where you'd like to go from here or will this race tell you where to go? This race we're just going to go one day at a time with this cold and see um, there's some opportunities. There's a little chance depending on how he ran and how he came out of it we might even look at the cool more here. We ran him twice at the meet last year and he ran very well the second time. Uh, not that I'm in a hurry to get back in but uh, he likes the synthetic and the bluegrass is going to be such a tough race that trying to get him in just a little bit easier. What do you think about the field he has to go up against in the Transylvania? Tough race. Oh boy. You know, both the Chad Brown's horses, Proctor horse, Pletcher horse, that horse from uh, Delaware, they're all, it's a, it's a tough race. Best of luck. All right, I appreciate it.